People in the commercials have it so easy. It takes one bite of a juicy red apple, a little jog around the block, and two push-ups to lose weight. If only real life was that easy. We live in a time that makes everything so overwhelming that even losing weight seems like an unachievable goal. From weight loss forums to the gyms, there is only one sentence ringing like a doom's bell. It is so hard to lose weight. We get it. Weight loss isn't as easy as it is shown to be. It isn't glamorous or aesthetically pleasing. It takes blood, sweat, and tears to shred some ounce of fat off your bones. And we totally get it that sometimes the scales show little to no progress at the end of the day. It is awfully demotivating. However, here's the harshest truth you will ever tackle. You are doing something wrong. Sadly, not being able to lose weight can mean several things. And if you are confused, don't worry, we got you. From medical reasons to personal goals, we have detailed every reason for you. Welcome again to the Healthy Inception. Let's grow our community by pressing the like button. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to stay healthy all the time. Also, do not forget to enable our notification. Now, let's solve the puzzle of why losing weight is so hard. Here are five reasons. Number one, is it eight glasses of water or not? We all know that water makes up most of our bodies. According to the USGS, adult male bodies consist of 60% of water, and females have 55% of water. And just imagine, babies have 78% of water. Now imagine not drinking enough water. That's not helping your body or your weight loss goal. See, chugging 8 to 10 glasses of water a day helps you lose weight. It's the ultimate weight loss strategy. According to a 12-week weight loss research study, participants who consumed half a liter, 17 ounces, of water 30 minutes before their meals lost 44% more weight than those who did not. Drinking water is the easiest thing you could do to assist your weight loss. If you feel like you are not losing weight, you should look at your water intake. To track your water intake, we recommend putting up a water chart or making your progress in a journal. It will surely motivate you. Remember, not drinking water is one of the biggest reasons you are not losing weight. Studies have shown that simply 8 or 10 glasses of water has been proven to increase the number of calories burned by 24 to 30 percent over one and a half hours. Number 2. Your attitude plays a defining role. There are many reasons for not losing weight. Some have to do with external things like not drinking enough water, overeating sugar, or not having a proper workout routine. But this one point is all about you and your attitude. It may be one of the most complex reasons to realize, but let's face it. Imagine this, you view weight loss as something that can be easily achieved through a few weight loss tablets, a few laps on the treadmill, and a slim body at the end of the month. But that's not how it goes. A short-term attitude towards weight loss will only make things difficult for you. How? Well, having a short-term goal means you only want to lose weight for a specific time. It is a possibility that you will gain weight. Plus, you are here and wondering why you aren't losing weight because of this very reason. You need some more motivators other than losing weight in a month or so. Enter motivation. See, you can have a great mindset and a mapped out goal for your weight loss, but if you aren't seeing any progress, it's because you are too demotivated to strictly follow the plan. Tackle this obstacle by finding other reasons to be healthy. Tell yourself that losing weight is a game and you must commit to it for a long time. It's not about saying goodbye to your favorite things for a short time. Instead, you are reminding yourself that exercising, eating healthy, and having weight loss strategies like a workout routine, a healthy drink, and a dose of nature will help you sleep better and live a thriving life. Moreover, guys, you might get rid of a few pounds here and there without a long-term attitude towards weight loss. But suffering a rebound and not losing weight will crash in front of you like a brutal reality. Such a scenario is way too common for people who are enthusiastic at the beginning and commit to a strict diet. But it is heartbreaking after keto, fad, or paleo diets don't work out. And you see the scale the same as before. See, sustainable diets like the ones mentioned earlier only last as long as your willpower. 
And if you have approached it with a short-term attitude, well, you will be so disappointed to witness the unwavering scales and potential regaining of weight. We suggest cutting down the journeys and the short-term strict diets instead of going for a well-balanced diet. This diet will include elements from all food groups and treat you better in the long run. Remember, there is no shortcut, no magic pills or cures. Nothing is said and done about weight loss, even if the wellness industry brags about it. You need to be gentle and patient with weight loss. Studies have shown that the best recommendation for weight loss is a rate of 1 to 2 pounds per week. It might be slower for those who are overweight, but remember, you are for a long and fantastic time that will enable you to live a healthy life. Number 3. Slow on the workout Wellness industries look like a run day or two will curb weight loss. In reality, cutting down on your workout routine or not working out consistently enough will make it hard to lose weight. The bottom line is that not exceeding every day is equivalent to not losing weight. There are tons of myths encircling exercise. One of them is working out excessively in the gym. That's not the brightest idea, and there is a possibility that you might be stuck with fat in some places while losing it in others. Experts suggest setting up a reasonable schedule for a workout that you can quickly and consistently follow throughout the week, and even for a long time. In short, this means you can cut down on any activity that you don't like or is too complex for you. You need to look for and commit to a program or a workout routine that enables you to show up willingly and with a strong mindset. Secondly, if you feel like exercising regularly but eating a poor diet, well, that's a recipe for staying in one spot. There is no way you can out-exercise a poor diet. All in all, remember, exercise should most definitely be part of your overall strategy to weight loss. It's proven to assist in weight loss and is brimming with other health-related benefits. Studies have proven that when people combine a daily workout routine with a rich diet of fruits, healthy fats, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, they are sure to lose weight and achieve sustainable health. Number 4. Still eating sugar? We will be honest with you. We get it. Not eating sugar is hard. Sugary beverages like sodas, bottled juices, and vitamin waters, and desserts like chocolate cakes and candies. It would feel like the end of the world to say no to the seemingly best things on earth. But here's the thing. According to a recent study, eating less of other foods but sticking to sugary items doesn't mean that your body or brain will compensate for their calories. This statement isn't just reserved for sodas like Pepsi or 7-Up. It applies to other seemingly healthier drinks such as vitamin water or canned fruit juices. They are loaded with sugar and only use weight loss labels to fool customers. If you are following a strict workout routine and a well-balanced diet but failing to cut down on vitamin water or energy shakes, you aren't losing weight. See, for one thing, sugar makes it impossible to lose weight. A little bit of sugar consumed through a choco bar or a glass of vitamin water can add back to the calories you lost in your diet or workout routine. Why? Say hello to insulin levels. According to Dr. Eric Berg, insulin, which is known to help your body store fat, will make it hard for the fat to burn if your body consumes even a bit of sugar. Keeping that in mind, the message is clear. Cut sugar, cut out the weight for good. Sugar only enables your body to store fat, so losing weight will become impossible. And maybe this is why you are still stuck in the same place. While sugar may be addicting, your weight loss goals are far more promising and will take you a long way. Number 5. Check in with your mental health One of the biggest and prevailing problems if our time has to do with mental health. People often neglect their mental health and see it as less than their physical health. They think mental health has no role to play if their body performs favorably. That kind of thinking is one of the reasons why people find it hard to lose weight, even when trying. Why? For many people, food brings comfort. People often suffer from chronic stress or depression and turn to food as a cure. Consider a scenario. You wake up, ready to seize the day. You have a workout planned. You have been trying to follow it for a while now. But due to an overload of work and stress, you find yourself wholly drained and mentally unfit to exercise or cook a healthy meal. So what do you do? You order a takeout, and then, there goes your progress. 
There goes your weight loss. With the assistance of a counselor, you can pinpoint these habits and look for their instigator. If you can identify the triggers, you can curb them before it is too late. Plus, experts suggest turning to counselors for help as they can teach you about emotional eating and any related triggers. Moreover, do you guys know that a stress-related hormone called cortisol can influence your body to gain weight? Studies have shown that prolonged cortisol levels can raise several health-related issues such as increased blood pressure, depressed immune system, and high abdominal fat. All this, coupled with chronic stress or depression, may lead to emotional eating, which, as you can guess, will result in weight gain. A counselor will save the day and the rest of it for you. Identify, work against it, and repeat. Definitely do not give up. Losing weight doesn't mean you need to give in. Try different strategies. Now that you know why you cannot lose weight, you can craft a strategy to tackle it. See, we understand weight loss isn't easy. On some good days, you will commit to the goals, reduce sugar, and drink more water. But on bad days, reverse. But it's okay. It's all about identifying behaviors and working against them. Hopefully, you will lose weight and overline your goals list. Till then, how about you tell us what you guys think of today's video? Please visit the links in the description below to watch more useful contents like this. So, what's your reason for not losing weight? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time.